Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with our May 14th new releases. Um, I mentioned in our previous video that by the time you're seeing this, um, I will be out of town, um, but we are still going to keep up with releases as scheduled. Um, and my amazing team will be handling the fulfillment and production and stuff like that while we are gone. So no worries about that, but I am pre-filming this video and the next video that you're going to see, so, um, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get started and um, try to wrap these up a little bit because I do have to film another video after this and then film some other stuff. So let's just go ahead and get started. Like I said, this week's um, new releases, we have, um, well, actually I didn't say this, it's like a pool watery beachy theme so yeah we have one kit in silver one kit in gold and then we have some like pool beachy foil which we have some like newer type not types of sheets but some new foil that we've never done before that I think is really fun so we're gonna well you'll see that in a second I'm gonna show you the kits first so this first kit is called Poolside. Um, I love her. The colors in this I am slightly obsessed with. So you have your floral boxes. You have this box here with the uh, beach ball and flip-flops and then a foiled swimsuit. You have this little tray floating on the water. No for a fact that would not actually float on water, but I guess we'll just pretend. Um, and it has a foiled drink on it. Here the quote says, life is better poolside. Um, here's a little chair with a flamingo floaty and some other floaties and a um, foiled one as well. It's a really pretty house with a pool in the backyard, a uh, flamingo floaty foiled, and then this girl standing next to the pool. Super cute. Love the colors, like I said. So you have this really pretty blue, this aqua-ish color, a darker pink, and a lighter pink. Next we have um, our functional page. I'm just not thinking about it. Like the, um, never mind. It's well, I don't know. Uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, I was watching her updates to her um, concert, and one of her outfits is pink and blue now, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. And so this is really that's speaking to me. Sorry. Um, anyway. <laughs> Um, here's the functional page. We have these pink headers with the foiled wave and then blue lace and of course your foiled florals. Here is the bottom washi. Super pretty. I love these florals a lot. And then you have the thin strip of washi with the foiled wave. Matches the headers. Have that same matching lace in the date colors in pink. And then you have some deco here with the pool floaties. Almost look like donuts. Um, we have a drink here, a hat, some like floral pieces, a beach ball, and a chair. Here is the foil add-on. So we have some waves in the washing and divider size. You have get two swimsuits, some ice cream, beach balls, floaties, and chairs. Perfect essentials for the pool. This deco page is super fun. So you get um, these flip-flops and hat, a stack of towels, this flamingo floaty. I'm obsessed with that flamingo floaty, by the way. We have this beach ball, a drink, of course the flowers, and then this bowl of flute, fruit, not flute. Um, you have this girl laying out on the chair and then this other girl uh, sun tanning. So that is the deco add-on. And of course we have the journal add-on as well. Pretty self-explanatory, I feel like. Never really know what to say on this page. Um, the stamps are the that tray in the pool full box and then the pool in the backyard full box. Here is the floral deco. It's a really busy um, trim, but I think that it's thick enough where if you wanted to make it thinner, you can always trim it down a little bit. I feel like some of them, the trims like will go like really far in. So if you were to like make it thinner, it would look weird. But this is one of those where I feel like you could cut it to look thinner. 
And I love how I told Bill that I'm filming and he's getting really passionate about something he's talking about with my mom, I guess. Um, so we have um, a lot of florals here. And then we have the alcohol ink swatches. I'm actually going to tell him that he's being really loud. Um, so that was the poolside kit. Um, yeah. And then here's the other kit. This one's called Boho Beach. Um, this one, I really feel like could have been silver, but I feel like, um, that we've had a lot of blue kits that have a lot of silver foil. So I feel like gold would be fun. So, um, yeah, so we have gold foil for this kit. It'd be nice if I was in frame a little bit more. Um, of course you have your floral boxes. We have this giant wave here that says, let the sea set you free. We have this really pretty, um, like branch with a lot of shells, like hanging down some foiled shells on it. This little beach house with a foiled palm tree and surfboard. Never been surfing, but She's cute. And then here we have some dream catchers, a not foiled one and a foiled one. And then we have this like underwater kind of scene with a foiled um, jellyfish and mm, octopus. Almost said squid, but definitely octopus. Here are the colors. So you have a dark blue, a darker like tealish green, a lighter green, and then a like creamy color. Now that I look at it, I feel like we could have also done this in rose gold. It was a really hard uh, decision to make. So here is the functional page. Here in the headers you have this cool fun pattern. It almost looks like, like a shell bracelet. Um, and then we have the foiled florals and the lace. The washi is a little bit more extravagant with the foiling um, and the thin strip at least. Um, these shells um, didn't scale down really well for the headers, so that's why we just stuck to like the these smaller little shell pieces. Um, so there's that. We have the um, foiled florals as well. Then you have your date covers and your deco. You have a wheel here. I'm trying to determine if it's upside down or not. No, he's not. He just has his tail pointed down. Then we have a um, compass, a seahorse, a bag, surfboard, and then two pieces of florals. This add-on is super fun. I love it so, so much. Um, so that same like shell situation here with the washi and then you have the actual divider here as well so if you do want to like actually use this add-on with there you wouldn't have to worry too much about the um like the divider being the exact same pattern as the headers it's like it matches but it's different if that makes sense then you have two of the little dream catchers and then we have um actually some date dots with this kit and they're like the shell cluster deco dates. I'm not sure exactly how we name them. I forgot off the top of my head. We have so much stuff that I just blank on some of these names sometimes, but you get one through 31. Um, you get two types of waves, like these simple ones and these bigger ones, and then lots of shell deco. So I feel like this is a pretty good add-on um, for any type of beachy kit, um, not just this one. Um, here's the deco add-on. There's that same sort of like tree branch there, this um, like beach umbrella, that whale, a big wave, this little house, not very little, this anchor, and one of the dream catchers, and then of course some florals. For the journal page, of course, has all the pretty colors, lots of blues and greens, um, and then the stamps have that wave, and then the like. Um, under the sea sort of um, scene. Next we have the floral deco. These floral decos are really oddly shaped. So they look very bizarre on the page. 
but you get quite a few of them on here, so. Um, there's that. And then here's the alcohol ink swatches, which I always mention this, but showing this to you on white because it shows best, but most people do opt to pick this up in transparent, so. There is that. So those are this week's two kits. Um, and then we have the foil to go with it. So um, showing you the foil in gold, but can be whatever foil color that we offer that you'd like. So first off, we have these summer quotes. So you have happy and salty, drink in my hand, toes in the sand, I need vitamin C, beach babe, summer vibes, life is better at the beach, and sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat. I am very much this one. Always sunburn. I do not tan, like at all. Um, I feel like when I was younger, I may be tanned, but I don't tan very well at all, so I um, try to avoid that. Um, so now we have the pool floaties. You have the flamingo ones and then the regular ones, and then you have some beach balls. These are one of the ones that I'm really excited about. Um, I just think it's so different, but so much fun. Ooh, I love it so much. It's so cute. Um, these are the pool tile dividers. Um, and I love them. Let me know what you think about these because I'm really excited about them. I feel like they're so much fun. They're kind of like the like mosaic tiles that you see on like the edge of the pool. I don't even know if you can see something similar in this pool box. I don't know. I feel like like here, like kind of here with the those tiles there, that's kind of like what it's going after is to kind of look like mimic that. But of course pools have different patterns, but I feel like this kind of gets like the point across. Also it could be like bathroom tile. I don't know when you would ever use a bathroom kit, but I mean if that's if that's something that you have, maybe like a spa kit, this would also go with that maybe. Not sure, but I just feel like this is so cute and so much fun and different. Um, and then this is this water ripple texture, um, which doing something different here. Normally we do like the like torn shapes and some people have been doing like the washi, like the foiled washi where you can just like tear it yourself. But this one is like... I don't know. I hope that you guys like it, but it's different. So it's like it's cut out around all of the like ripply pieces. So you can just like take an X-Acto knife, for example, and just like cut at like a different like seam that you want and just use the texture that way instead of like um, having like the background showing um, or like sometimes when you layer a transparent sticker over another sticker, like it kind of like messes with like what the color comes out looking like underneath if it's a transparent sticker and then I feel like the washi like the terrible washi it doesn't really work very well for an overlay because it's more transparent I mean it's more opaque than the transparent paper that we offer so um just thought it'd be fun to try this this way um we'll see this is just a seasonal item anyway so I mean if you guys want me to do um if you don't like it this way, then we can always do something different in the future, but just thought we'd try that out. Next, we have these poolside treats. So ice cream, more ice cream, sundaes, which are also ice cream, drinks inside fruits, basically. So we have drinks inside watermelon and pineapple and coconuts, um, fruity drinks inside mason jars with the little drink umbrellas, and then some pitchers. So cute. And then last but not least for this size sheet, we have these towel pattern dividers. I don't know how else to describe them. Um, like, you know when you have like your pool, your beach towel and it's got like the stripes on the end, how a lot of towels have that. So this is like different varying uh, widths of those stripes. So you have like this design with the thick one in the middle and the thin ones on the outside. You have this one, like thicker one all by itself. This one's like three thin ones. This one's one thin one. If I can peel it up. Here, one thin one. So, and then they just repeat. So, again, a different type of divider. Trying out some newer things when we can. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that one. And then, of course, for the washi, we had to do the pool tile washi. Pool towel. Pool tile washi so pool 
tile washi is here, same pattern as the dividers, and then same here with the towel pattern washi, which honestly, if you don't want to use this in terms of it like referencing like a towel, it does make some pretty good dividers that are like simple in terms of like lines and um, stuff. So if you want to pick it up for that too, you don't necessarily need to use it as intended as like a towel pattern. So there's that. So that is everything that I have for you guys this week. Um, as usual, while you're seeing this, I will be out of town. Um, but if you have any questions, we you can always just email or comment or whatever. We will try our best to answer that. I mean, we will be answering, but it's just we don't know like the timing and stuff we'll see um but in terms of order fulfillment and production everything will be smooth sailing everything that we have released here by the way um i think we like pre-made basically everything that's here so um as i'm filming this right now it's actually may 10th that i'm filming this and um we had our new releases on may 7th and we already shipped a bunch of this week's orders already so um, yeah, so production, fulfillment, should have no issues, um, but we're just going to keep our processing times as usual, I'm not going to increase them or anything, um, so yeah, uh, and as usual for this, the new releases, you can save an additional 10% off through this week only, I don't know how it's going to work with taking down the discount with me being out of town because I have to manually do it, so we'll kind of see... When it ends up coming down, it will come down before the next set of new releases. But I don't know if it'll come down Sunday night. But I just want to say Sunday night because Sunday night will actually be like Monday afternoon in Korea. So um, I might actually be around my computer around that time to do it. So I'm just going to say Sunday night is the only time that I can guarantee if the 10% off to stay up a little bit longer than yay. But I'm just going to say Sunday night to be on the safe side. Um, I got to figure out how to do that automatically instead of having to manually type in numbers. I feel like an accountant every time I do it. But anyway, anyway, now I'm ranting, not ranting. I'm going off on a tangent. I got to film a whole nother video and some reels and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope that you guys enjoy your week um, and I will talk to you later. Bye.